Challenge. Uh, uh, I'm John Weber, if you don't know me, and uh, Bobby and I will be running for him, and if you need any help, in this round will be bowling an eight game set. Top 10 will advance to the main field beginning tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Top bowlers from around the world will be here until Friday. We hope to see you throughout the week here at Kokomo. Thanks to the staff, all the tournament volunteers, and of course our PBA sponsors and product registered companies. We sure appreciate their support along with Dave Small of Professional Bowling. Bowlers, without further delay, your lanes are coming on for your 13 minute warm up. 13 minutes. Welcome back, guys. So, we are at Heritage Lanes in Kokomo, Indiana for the Kokomo Classic, and we are seeing the PTQ bowlers go through eight games today, five on a pair on Wayne Webb. 38 feet, so eight games to be able to make the top 10 of this field to be able to go into tomorrow's main field. So, eight games, here we go, and go.
feel about that shot, Ryan? How do you feel about it? Good. Good. Yeah. Gotta make up 60 pins. It's only, six, it's only 60. Yep, six more, seven more games? Six, seven, whatever it is. Math is hard. <laughs> After game one of qualifying here at the BTQ, we saw Matt Kuba go 299 to start it off. So he is currently leading at plus 99. Then we have Mike Skobach, Paul Wargren, Jalen Mosley, Brian Chamber, Zach Weedman, Eric Jones, Cortez Shank, Cred Lamont, and Mike Jahinski. That is currently sitting at plus 45. We have seven more games to go. They just finished game two, so I'll update the scores whenever the scores update online on the PBA site. On to game two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Said, you guys said. To be on record. If he strikes out, he's halfway there after three games. <laughs> All right, maybe Cody was right. <laughs> <laughs> Game four update. So they are currently going into game six. Game five hasn't been updated just yet. 
on the standing sheets, but never mind, it's right here. I literally just refreshed, and it's right here. So after five games, Matt Kuba is currently still in the lead at 255 over Eric Jones in second. We have Justin Knowles, Zach Tackett, Nate Stubler, Cortez Shank, Toby Sambueno, Kim Bollaby, Mike Jahinski, and then Thomas Keitel. Plus 168, there's about four or five guys that are just close enough to that number to be able to really make a big difference here in the next few games. They're definitely opening up a little bit different and people are having to kind of switch out of those urethane balls and go into some reactive just to be able to kind of control the pocket a little bit better and get the angles right going through the front and middle part of the lane. Two more games to go, they're just now starting game six. So six, seven, eight, three more games to go. Jeez, math, hard. <laughs> they both said it. <laughs> 